Let's look in chapter number 64 in Isaiah. I want to just touch on a thought that's been on my mind all week. Verse number 6. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And I want to speak to us just a few moments on everything we can do is just not enough. All that we can do it's not enough. Bless. I stand before you today in the name of Yahweh, God our Father, and in the precious name of Yahshua, Jesus Christ, our Savior. I stand before you an incomplete person. Amen. Amen. I feel like there may be some things lacking in my life and I feel like it may be because I'm, it's ignorant uh, because if I knew those things that were lacking and I find them, I plan to do something about it. Bless. I don't plan to stumble over things that may hinder me from serving God. I don't plan... To, to stagger over things that may stop me from doing the perfect will of God. When I find those things, I plan to do something about it and get rid of them. Yes. Because I have found out that heaven is real. Yes. I stand before you as a soul in need of help from God. Yes. Amen. I have not obtained perfection and I have certainly have not made it into the kingdom of heaven yet. Amen. I've not walked through the pearly gates. I'm still here. So I need help. I need His grace. Yes, yes. I need His mercy. Yes. I need His healing. I need His provision. Yes. I need His protection today. Yes. I need His guidance. Help How about y'all? Yes. And sometimes I need His direction. Sometimes I need uh, other people's direction when I'm going to a place I've never been. I thought sure I had the direction written down perfect and I would go and behold the church was not where I went. Had to make a phone call right quick. Uh, you know, find out where we at. We went to a church one time way off, uh, I guess three hour drive or four and we got there and the name of the place was Bone Town. Y'all remember that? Bone Town was the name of the little community. We wound up in Bone Town. Lord help us. I don't want to wind up in the Valley of Dry Bones. See y'all? And I got out and, and I believe Ernie was, went with us that time. And I got out and we went to the, this old little old church. And, and we walks up and we looks in the window and it looks so spooky in there. And all of them look, they were got, I play, think the children got so, wait a minute, we ain't singing at this place, remember Candy? Wait a minute, this is, we're, we don't want to sing here. And we found out that we were way off course and we wound up at the right place finally. Amen. So I need the Lord's direction sometime. I don't know about you. I need him to guide me and direct me because we're in a troubled world. Right. We're in a sinful world. Yeah. We're in the valley of sin, the wilderness of sin. We're in a place where we need the guidance of the hand of God. Our politicians yeah. don't know the way. Yes. Hey Amen. A lot of churches have lost the way. We need to find our way in God and find direction directly from him. Left. In my times of trouble and despair, I need Jesus. Yes. In my times of heartaches and sorrow, I need Jesus. Left. When I can't find my way, it seems, I need Jesus. When I'm sick and I'm aching or hurting, I need Jesus. Yes, yes. I know I need him, but I know one thing for certain, Sister Penny. He lives in my heart. Amen. 
because 38 years ago, I knelt at this altar and I cried out to the Lord and he heard this poor man's cry and he lifted me up. I was the first one to know that I was saved. I didn't shake a preacher's hand and he didn't shake it in me. I prayed to, my, I prayed to God alone, to him, and I felt the mighty hand of God take all my sins out and I was like a brand new baby, a child that had never known a single sin. I had been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I was unclean. This verse says that we all had filthy rags. Amen. I was unclean and the Lord cleansed me that night. Uh, have I messed up since? And many times since that time I'd messed up. And then there was a turning point in my life to get me focused on heaven alone. And that was when the Lord took my little boy, a Valentine boy. He was the first baby born on Valentine Day in Columbus County. Weren't he? At the hospital in Wyville, the first baby born on Valentine Day. And he was a Valentine Day boy. And the Lord saw fit to take him to, to be with him. Amen. That was a turning point in my life. I had to get real. I had to quit playing church. I didn't want to be religious any longer. I wanted to know I was living for Jesus. And I prayed and I still pray to that a direction and intention to be a genuine Christian in everything I do. Away from the church. Uh, hiding by myself somewhere in the wilderness on the river fishing by myself. I want to be a Christian. I want to be a genuine child of God. I want to give my heart and soul completely under Jesus once and for all forever. Amen. To be a real Christian. Bless him. I was filthy. You remember the Syrophoenician woman came to Jesus. Oh, help me, Lord. My daughter is sore vexed of a devil. She needs deliverance. And Jesus looks at this woman and he says, It's not meat for me to give the children's bread unto the dogs. Amen. I was like a filthy dog. Amen. I was a part of the Gentile nations that were considered dogs. And what did she say? She said, yes, Lord, or yea, Lord. But the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Amen. I'm so glad, amen, that I realized I was a vile sinner and I needed the crumbs. And I fell down on my knees, Brother Danny, that morning, that night. And I beg and plead in the Lord, give me a crumb. Give me something, Lord. And he didn't give me the crumb. He gave me the whole cake. He gave me the whole pound cake in all its sweetness. He washed my sins clean. Amen. And I'm so glad today I've been redeemed by his blood. My name is in the Lamb Book of Life today. Amen. And I plan to live for him and serve him all the days of my life. The scripture said we're fading as a leaf, and that's true. I look at my age, 59 years, where did it go? Where did that young man go, Danny, that we went down the river? Amen, at 30 years old, both of us fishing down the river, and I used paddles back then. I didn't need no motor boat. I didn't need any motor. Them fellas had them little electric motors, I passed them. Man, I was strong, and that, that was, and I had that little one-man boat in the wind. You ought to see my hair going back. <laughs> Not quite that fast. But I would pass those electric motors like they were nothing. Because I was young man in shape, but now I'm 59, and I can still pass some of them. If they're broke down. <laughs> I can pass by and smile. I can say, you want me to tow you in? But we're all fading. You're fading a little bit. Amen. Your beard's turning gray, D. Amen. Your hair's turning loose, Tony. Amen. We're getting older. And yet my wife seemed to be the same old young lovely thing. 
Valentine's Day means you better do something yourself today. I can't talk for you. I know how to talk sweet to my wife. Yes, I do, sweetie pie. I'm going to take her out and get crab legs next week. My iniquities were taking me away. It says that your iniquities have taken you. My iniquities were taking me away. Verse 8 says, but now, but now, but now. Somebody say, but now. But now. I was fading as a leaf. My iniquities and all my righteousness could not help me. But now, thou art our father. We are the clay and you're our potter. He's working on us. Yeah. Amen. Some of you know what a potter's wheel is. I guess these art teachers do. And I'm pretty sure they slapped the mud on them before. And, and they turned the wheel and they shaped the art, the vessel, whatever they want to shape it. Amen. We're on the potter's wheel today. Yeah. And the Lord is shaping us. Yeah. He's our father. Yeah. We're the clay. He's the potter. I'm glad yeah. I'm on the wheel. I'm glad I'm on the wheel. And every now and then he had to take a piece of... Uh, Hard clayer than to cast it out. I'm so glad that he is my potter today. Yes. He is my father. Bless. He loves me just like I did and do my girls. We all went out to a little Valentine's supper last night. And I just kept looking at my three girls. And you know, they eat and, and my grandchildren. And, of course, I have to look at my grandsons every now and then. Amen. I envy them. They're younger. Not better looking, but younger. Uh, just kidding, D. Then y'all just... Huh? I guess they agree with me. They better agree with me. My, grand, my son-in-law. My son-in-law better agree that... They might all three team up on me and just throw me in a river. In the river. Just give me a fishing pole and some bait. You know, the Lord won't share his glory with anybody. Right. He's not going to share his glory. Amen. He's going to be glorified. He's going to be sanctified. He's going to be set apart. He is God. So when we worship him, we set him apart. And I'm so glad. The Bible said, without me, ye can do nothing. But it also says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Bless. He is my strength. He is my anointing. Today, I believe with all my heart. And you can ask Robin, I'm trusting God for healing in my body. I believe in God for healing. But do I stagger and, and stumble around on that belief? I, yeah, what's happening? I'm believing, and yet I stack. Do, have I went uh, to get a doctor to do anything? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Do I believe in doctors? Thank God for the doctors that God has more sense than I have. Thank God for the doctors that can help people. Praise God for it. Amen. They've got the knowledge. Thank God for the doctors and not the lawyers. <laughs> Amen. I don't know where the lawyers come in at. I do. Jesus said, woe unto you lawyers. Uh-oh. But he's, he said, they that be sick don't, they that behold don't need a physician, but they that are sick. Bless. So there's some good in physicians. But then Jesus came, oh bless his name. He died on the cross of shame. The, the stripes upon his back are for our healing. Yes. Amen. I'm so glad. Amen. He is the great I am today, Edward. He is the great I am. He can do anything. And with my spiritual eyes, I have seen a lot of things. Amen. I believe that our eyes today should be on Jesus. Yes. Say, Lord, my eyes are on you. Say it. Lord, my eyes are on you. I have actually seen the Red Sea open. Have you? I have read the book with my spiritual eyes and I have actually seen, not Charlton Heston, I have actually seen 
the Red Sea opened in my spiritual life. I know it. Bless. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, the Red Sea opened and the children of Israel went over on the other side. I have actually seen the manna fall from heaven in my spiritual eyes. I see it as it Bless. fell out there in the wilderness and they gathered it together to eat. I've actually seen the rock break open and the water come out. I've seen it. Amen. Not with these old natural eyes too far back. But I've seen it with my spiritual eyes. And I, do I believe it? Yes, it's there. I've seen it. Yes. We need to look through our spiritual eyes today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he changed it not. I've seen the walls yes. of Jericho fall down. Hallelujah. Yes. I've seen fire fall from heaven on the Mount Carmel where Elijah was. Yes. I've seen a little boy face a big giant. And brought him down. Yeah. Bless. Hey man, I've seen God shut the lion's mouth. I've seen God as he let three young men walk in a fiery furnace and not even get touched. I've seen it with my spiritual eyes. Hey Amen. We can mope around on the edge if we want to and say, oh yeah, the Bible says it. But we got to get deeper than that. We got to know that the Word of God says it and it's vivid and it's real and it's alive in our spiritual lives. Amen. Amen. I believe it today, don't you? I've seen Jesus turn the water into wine more times than one. Amen. I've seen him feed the multitude with five loaves and two little fishes. I've seen it. I've seen it with my spiritual eyes. Do I believe it? It's absolute in me. Yes. It's absolute in me. Bless. Amen. I've gotten past the milk of the word trying to believe it. It's a fact. Bless. It happened. Yes. It happened. I've seen it with my spiritual eyes. Bless. I've seen the crippled man walk. I've seen the blind man see. And I've seen the deaf man hear. And I've seen as the dumb man can get up and speak. I've seen the dead raised to life again. Lazarus was raised after four days. I've seen it. Yes. Have you seen it? If you've not seen it, you need to look a little deeper. Yes. Because it's in this book. Look at somebody and say, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen Jesus as he's calmed the storm Bless. with just the word, peace, be still. Praise. I've seen Jesus as he got out on that troubled sea and he put his feet on the sea. And I've seen him walk upon the waters. Hey Amen, I've seen it. I've seen as Peter tried to walk and he did. Hey Amen, and now people say, oh, he sunk. Yeah, but he walked a while, didn't right. he? Hey, man, I'm glad I've seen it. Hey, man, I've read all the stories, and I've seen them in my mind's eye, in my spiritual man. I've seen them, and I've experienced them, and I believe them. Yes. I've seen as Jesus bore the stripes upon his back, and it was not Jim Caviezel. No, it was Jesus that I've seen. I've seen him as they put the crown of thorns upon his head. I've seen him as they hung him on the cross. I've wept many, many times because of it. Amen. Maybe it was my sin that put him there. And more than likely, my sins put him there. And I've seen him as he hung. But I've heard his voice as he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. I heard the voice in, in in my heart I heard it and I have heard the voice of God I remember a while back when Brother Anthony we had, the Holy Ghost moved in here and Brother Anthony hugged me and fell on my shoulder again and he said the Lord and he said Lord give him souls for his hire and I didn't tell him that night Sister Inez but it was years ago when Brother Anthony first got saved on a Wednesday night Robin felt led to pray for Brother Tony and Sister Teresa and Anthony and Crystal. And we called them up here to pray. And Brother Anthony was not saved. And tall, 
boy. And he fell right over on my shoulder with his head. And the Lord saved him. And when the Lord saved him, God spoke to me and I heard it just as plain as my wife would speak to me. He said, I am Jesus whom you preached. He said, if you diligently seek my face, I will give you souls. That's what he said. And my knees buckled almost. The weight of God's voice to speak to somebody as small as me. So I've heard the voice of Jesus. And the very next night, Sister Teresa's dad passed away, weren't it? God strengthened them for that. God wants to strengthen you today. Amen. But you have to be able to see by faith. We walk by faith and not by natural sight. We have to get the spiritual man to see. And there's one more thing that I have not seen. I've seen Jesus as he come out of the tomb. And he ascended into heaven. And he made atonement for our sins. I've seen Jesus as he was back down here on the earth. As he walked among the people for 40 days and nights. And I've seen him as he was taken away, Brother Tony. I've seen him in my mind and heart as he ascended into heaven in a cloud. But I've not seen him as he come back yet. Because he's not come back yet. But he said, I'll come again. And I'll bring my reward with me Amen. to give to every man as his work shall be. Yes. He said when I come back again, he said I'm going to come myself. He said the Lord himself shall descend. He's not going to send an angel to come get you or me. He said the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall rise first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. I've not seen it yet, but I'm a looking for it. He's coming back in all his glory. He's coming back. All we can do in this life doesn't seem like enough. But if we'll put our trust in Jesus and see what he's done and what he's doing and we can also see what he's going to do with our faith. Faith is the substance. What is the substance of things hoped for? Our faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence Faith is the evidence. What is the evidence of things not seen? Faith. Yes. You don't see in your body that you're healed, but your faith is the evidence that you are. Yes. We speak those things that are not as though they were. Yes. We speak to those things that are not as though they were. Yes. Amen. By his stripes, Amen. we are healed. Yes. Yes. By his blood, we are saved. Yes. Today, Tara, get that song. That song that I feel that I want my wife to sing too, but this song's on my heart. Praise God. Yes. As, as Tara sings this song and ministers, I want you to stand. And if you have a need, if you need to be healed, I'm going to believe God. Because I've seen him heal. I've seen him heal in this church. I've seen him, he healed me instantly. Bruce, y'all, you, were you there, son? My daughters, they all were there. My heartbeat was 160 a minute, and, I, and my, heart, my, my chest was so bad. And when they prayed immediately, my heartbeat beat went down to 79, weren't it? 78. It dropped. Instantly, it dropped to 78. And the, and the pain and everything left. God healed me in prayer. And he is my healer. 
and my Redeemer. And I've seen him heal. Amen. One day he touched a crippled man and he made him walk again. He can touch you today. If you need to be healed, I suggest you come and get this bottle of oil and let me pray for you. Brand new oil. Amen. Brand new, where's it from? Jerusalem? No, IGA. <laughs> this is from IGA, not Jerusalem. Brand new. But there's not power in the oil. But there's power in the love that we have one for another. Bless. If we have love one to another, our love can translate into healing for somebody else. As she sings the song, and you want to be healed, I believe you're healed Bless. when you do what God says. Let them call for the elders of the church and the, anoint them with all the prayer faith shall save the sick. Bless. And the Lord shall raise them up. And if they've committed sin, it shall be forgiven them. Bless. Play. As she sings, would you come?